Our today's lecture is about the paleontology as a science and in which we are going to discuss about the steps of understanding paleontology. Now, if we want to know that the paleontology, how does it work as a science, then there might be some steps that human being has taken to understand the uh, paleontology. Now, if we see these five steps, which are earliest fossil finds, that how the, are the ancient people who were living as hunters and gatherers are the people in the ancient Greek and Latin cultures are the Roman people. When they saw something on the surface of the earth, which resembled to the large jaws or those were the fossils, how did they perceive that? What was their concept? We will be discussing about that. And the fossils as magical stone, of course, these are the things which are very much different than our perception of normal. So they attributed these things to the, uh, the magical stones and the fossils. When did we got the idea that fossils are nothing else? These are just fossils. There was a evolution of knowledge throughout the history of human beings. And we at some point got the idea that fossils are indeed the remains of the living organisms, the past ancient living organisms. And then uh, if the fossils are living organisms and now they, we cannot see any of those living organisms around us, then it means that organisms are not perpetual. They are not immortal. The species they get extinct. So idea of extinction, how did it came into our common knowledge that was at some point uh, elaborated by some scientists. We'll be discussing about that as well. And that the geological time, right? So if we see the different studies or the ancient people, how did they perceive the time or, or the age of the universe? For example, the Bible says, or according to the uh, Bible's uh, students, the earth is almost 6,000 to 8,000 years old, which is not true. We know through the scientific evidence that earth is much more older than these scriptures say. Right? So we'll be discussing a little bit about that as well. Now, the first thing is that of the fo earliest fossil find, right? So that means the prehistoric that we don't know when happened, right? So a prehistoric, wherever the word prehistoric comes, that means before history. History is the record in which we know that how the older people lived. If there is no record and there was some finds, that is called prehistoric, right? For example, the ancient people lived as hunters and gatherers. This is an event which is perceived as prehistoric. We don't know. There is no written proof that they lived in such a way. So the people picked up and used them as ornaments. Ornaments means that they want to use them as jewelry or something, right? And earliest Greeks that were the Xenophans and Herodotus. These were the two uh, very knowledgeable philosophers of the Greeks. They said that, okay, we find these fossils on the surface of the earth. And these look like the organisms which are living in the sea. So they said that the place where these fossils are found was actually a sea in the ancient times. So this was very, very uh, calculated or informed uh, point of view, right? Which they both gave on their own. And this is very, very interesting that they... Uh, perceived these organisms as and they speculated that what were the conditions around them. Now the fossils were well, at some point uh, after that, right? So not prehistoric. Now will just come more near to the modern times uh, th when the fossils were perceived as the magical stones in the Roman and medieval times. Roman uh, times were eight hundred to uh, 1200 when the Romans were uh, ruling all over the Europe and 
they invaded the UK as well. At that time, uh, they, uh, it was known as the Glossopetrae. That means that they were perceived as the teeth, uh, the fossil shard te teeth, which were called Glossopetrae, worn as the amulet, right? Amulet means tavis, they used as a tavis. And the idea of vis plastica, that means they are changed magically. And the work of John Beringer was to, uh, uh, to see these uh, artifacts, to see these fossils and document it, right? But it was, uh, due to some reason, was not very good because the people, do, uh, as John Beringer took these things, he uh, documented it and he paid the people who were collecting those things. So people start uh, making their own things and bring, uh, start bringing to the John Beringer and that resulted into uh, some animosity between the scientists at that time. Now, after that, the fossils were perceived as the fossils and the Leonardo da Vinci, you may already know that he was a famous painter in the uh, medieval time in Italy and he and and uh, he said that the fossils are the remains of the ancient organisms nicola steno uh, he he cal uh, he said that what is the actual nature of glossopetrae that was a shark teeth the ancient shark teeth he took out the skeletons of the actual sharks and he compared those glossopetrae with those and robert hooke who was the uh, inventor of the microscope he saw those fossils under his microscope and he explained their properties as well. And at that time, the knowledge was enough that the magical explanation of fossils were debunked. And now the idea of extinction. Uh, at some point in our scientific history, the William Hunter, he said that the American incognitum, that means the fossils which were not, a, uh, no one is able to identify that what they are, they were the uh, extinct organisms, right? And Robert Hooke was also the first of those uh, scientists who gave the idea of extinction. And the uh, French natural scientist George Cuvier, which is also known as the comparative anatomy, he compared the anatomy of the fossils with the anatomy of the modern living organisms. Now, at this point, we know that fossils are living in uh, fossils are present in very past right so they are millions of years old it tells us that the life of on earth is very very ancient and the earth itself is very old the sedimentary rocks and their uh, contain fossils of document history of long span of time right so it is very very uh, a vast time uh, span in which the life has formed from the simple to complex organism and during 1820s and 1830s, the naming of the geological period took place. And what is this uh, stratigraphy? Stratigraphy is, the, is an understanding of the geological time. Strati means layers. Graphy means to measure. That means we are seeing that which layer is how much old one layer is. So in this way, we study the paleontology and how the science of the paleontology was established as a science uh, during the different courses of time.